Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to some more Dwarf Fortress episode two with our series here, our Savage Lands playthrough. Um, things might look a little bit differently because I decided to actually reload the game. <laughs> so I wasn't uh, entirely happy with some of the decisions I made in the last episode. Uh, once I started kind of busting that rust off, like I said, in the gears and everything, getting used to the game, I wanted to go back and kind of change the layout just a little bit more. And um, I did realize I still couldn't bring an ax because we didn't have, the technology actually didn't exist in the world at the time for axes, which is kind of comical. Uh, so aside from training axes, which I did bring one training axe, there actually wasn't any type of uh, metal axes that you could bring, no iron or bronze, no copper, nothing like that. I did dig this out the same here. And uh, I did do this opening here because I really like doing that. It's actually extremely, this opening here, it's actually extremely beneficial for your dwarves to put statues there because when they're going up and down the stairs, they, they see the statues and get happy thoughts. And it's pretty important to a lot of my colonies and their survival. So I wanted to go back and change that because once you kind of do those stairs there, it's not a whole lot you could do. So I just went ahead and set all of that up. So we're really not that far behind. We just got to set up the trade depot the stockpile, you know, stuff like that. So we're right back, um, we're right back where we started. So let's just wait till our dwarves here once again, get in the habit of mining all that stuff out. Oh, real quickly too, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and take a look. I'd like to welcome Tromaine Scoops, Lord Krager, Brittany, Archangel, and Alara into our colony. Every dwarf now is named after one of you precious viewers. I'm sure that you will not regret submitting your names to my colonies. I will take very, very good care of you. And I did zoom in a little bit here. Zoom back out. Just so it's a little bit easier to see everything. So we've got somebody going on and gathering plants. Still have no way to harvest wood until we either trade for an ax or we can build one of our own. Because like I said, the world didn't even have an ax uh, in it. And we're already digging our mine, uh, mine shafts down into the kitchen, what's going to be the kitchen area and then the workshop area, and then we'll have the birthing area. Um, it looks like we've got plenty of material now, though, that we can build our trade depot. So let's go ahead and get that up and running. And in a bit, like I said, I'll get everybody moving material into here as well. But I just want to wait till a lot of this is uh, built and constructed. A lot of this is dug out because we're like the upstairs area is going to be te a temporary storage spot. They probably really don't need to be digging all of this out. It's going to take them a little bit longer. They are pretty proficient miners, but they're going to have some time into this. So why don't we go ahead and actually set up our stockpile again? This time, same thing, enable everything except for corpses, refuse, and stone, just so we can get it inside. And we'll just go ahead and make this, um, this hallway here a stockpile in this hallway. So whenever I play Dwarf Fortress, I usually just do things to get stuff moved inside and all that. I don't focus too much on the look of the fort, aside from the way I mined it out. I throw things everywhere, workshops get thrown everywhere, etc., etc., until eventually we're in a position where we can start slowly organizing everything. Um, that's kind of how I go about it. So make sure that the bulls, once again, have their set up here in the front for defensive purposes. And the animal a caretaker will take care of that. Well, the rest of the dwarves are busy hauling all of our equipment. A little bit of equipment we have. So like I said, kitchen and workshops area and then birthing one more down below that. These guys are very busy. We've got clay here. More rock salt. Rock salt here, here, okay. So I'll have to get rid of a lot of that so we can turn it into stone. It'll look a little bit nicer when we do that. Yeah, 
And we'll want to have a farming area here as well, which I think I'm just going to go ahead and head towards the water for that because that actually could be a well at some point. We could probably drain all these ponds or build an area where the water runs down here and it runs into a well that'll be by our kitchen. So that'll be perfect. But yeah, the farm will definitely go down here. We've got some seeds actually that can be planted. So yeah, why don't we build the farm right off to the side here? We'll do a two door path leading into the farm, which will jet out this way. I'm gonna make a little bit of a stockpile for seeds. Like this. And then the farm will take up a pretty large space here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just see uh, what that looks like for farm area. All right, so they cleared that out real quickly. Let's get some workshops up and running. We'll do a carpenter's workshop. And uh, we could throw them right in the hall. Actually, let's see if they get this. Let's see if they get this cleared out. If they don't get the center cleared out, then we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, we didn't even have an empty bucket. Okay. Yeah, I'll get this to carpentry up and running then. We don't have any wood though. I actually didn't even think to bring any wood with me. That's kind of silly. We'll get that. Um, we will get a... Let's get a mason's workshop. We're going to want a mechanics workshop, but we don't need that just yet. So let's just get those two. All right. Trade Depot is going up. Very good. Miners are working on the farm now. So far looking good. Lots of sand over here. This is all sand, right? Yep, red sand cavern floor. That'd be perfect for mining. I'm hoping it's all sand this way because that'll give us lots of room for mining. And it's looking very promising. Very, very promising. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. That will work. That'll work really well. They're going to mine these two here together. We've got the Mason's Workshop up, so what can we get here? Great, a cabinet, coffer statue, table, weapon rack. We're gonna, we know we're gonna want some tables and rock tables are fine. We can't do anything with wood, because we have no wood, like not any at all. We're gonna be hurting for a bit, but we know we're going to want the tables. We're going to want chairs. At some point. So why don't we make uh, four tables. Maybe... I don't see the, uh, well, that works anyways. Actually, yeah, we should get doors too. All 
All right. That'll keep them busy. What do we got for nobles here? Expedition leaders, actually Archangel, okay. So we don't have anybody else just yet um, to really set as a role. Actually, don't I have somebody who can do? We can set up a broker. Archangel's gonna be probably the best for that. So let's have him there for that. And then once we get other people, we get to get a bookkeeper and such. We don't need any of that stuff just yet. All right. I guess we'll go ahead and get our farm up and running here. We've got a couple of things we can I don't want it that big. There we go. A couple of things we can get farming. Um, we'll do a farm plot as soon as you walk in and then we will do another farm plot over here. Same height. And size. All right. And once those are done, we'll set those up to be uh, farmed for underground plants. I think we have a farmer actually. No, we don't. So we will set somebody up to farm. Uh, we've got a peasant. Oh no, he set up the farm. So we'll have him do that. Animal care. Plant gathering, butchery tanning. Yeah, that, that's fine for now. Yep, okay. So let's do uh, plump helmets. All year round. So if I set that like that, it should be all seasons, yep. All right, and over here we'll do uh, dimple cups all seasons. And then I'll make this one more over, I think. Yep, same with over here. Because I'm going to put two more, another plump helmet and dimple cup area. Okay, perfect. They've got the main area here up and running. We could do some maybe thrones. Can we make rock thrones? We can. So let's make some of those. Four of them for now. And I guess I'll go ahead and place a few tables in here. Or do I want to wait? Can I get the kitchen area up? I think I can. The miners are already done mostly with everything. So let's do this. Oh wait. There we go. So that'll be our sort of like great hall area. It's gonna eventually extend probably this way if it needs to grow. Which means the kitchen has to be somewhere here. I'm gonna probably put it off to this side over here. So we'll do a door. 
up into what will be the kitchen area gonna be a off let's see actually let's do it like this let's do the kitchen up over here and the work uh, the stockpile for kitchen stuff over here so it'll expand in there'll be a fish area here I think a butcher here kitchen will be in here probably something else so this is gonna be the whole area usually I lay out the workshops before I actually go nuts with it Okay, um, I think I want a stockpile though. You know what, maybe I do want this in the center because I think I want two stockpiles. For ingredients and for, so let's do this. And I always try to build my fort so I can expand into other areas. So I'll lay it out like this. We'll put a stockpile I think for food here. So I'm thinking a stockpile for food and a stockpile for booze. And then I want to do an ingredient stockpile. Uh, the kitchen shouldn't have to expand. It shouldn't get bigger than this. So one of these stockpiles will be food and booze and one will be ingredients is what it'll be. All right, so his, this is this room here. This is actually that area, kind of big. We don't really need them this big, so I'm gonna scale them back like this. But this just kind of shows me how much space I do have when I do want to go to utilize it. I will mine that out completely. Um, I'm actually gonna remove these designations for a second and not mine the center part out until the kitchen's done. Then we can get everything moved down to there. All right, let's get some other stuff up. Let's get the let's get the crafts dwarf workshop. Well, oh boy, there's no reason I'm moving these in here just yet. Let's get the mechanics workshop in here though. I want to start making some gears. They're really good for selling early on. Um, probably don't need a siege workshop. Crafts, uh, Crafts dwarf, tanners, masons. We've already got jewelers. You can get a jewelers workshop. Jewels are sometimes a good early game thing. Loom, Millstone, Quern. I don't think we need any of these just yet. And the leather works. Yeah, we don't need any of that just yet. They'll have the kitchen up and running here shortly. We'll get another farm plot up. All right. Those will get built there. Let's move our seeds down here. We'll do a uh, custom stockpile settings. Um, just disable everything. And then we will allow seeds. And I'll just store all the seeds, both above ground and below ground seeds. That's fine. <laughs> Not gonna worry too much about it. That can start getting hauled. It'll free up some space in our stockpiles here upstairs. 
until we find a better solution. We're gonna wanna get the birthing area up and running too. So let's build our kitchen up. We are going to want the actual kitchen here. We can put a fishery here. The still is gonna go in here. And is there anything else I wanna put in here? Do I want a screw press? The butcher's workshop, yeah, that's right. Oh, no, 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 butcher's workshop I usually put outside. Or something. I usually try to think of a creative way to do the butcher's workshop so I don't get uh, my asthma in my fort. Huh. So the butcher's workshop would have to be outside. It's possible, it's just a pain. I mean, it could be inside. Let's just throw it inside for now. We'll move it later if we have to. I don't have anybody hunting anyways, just yet. A lot, of, a lot of this stuff's still waiting to be built. All right, let's get the main hall now mined out. That'll allow us to set up some tables and chairs for people to eat at, plus designate it as a main area. And this is going to be our workshop area right here. Actually, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. Well, no, this is going to be the where the stockpile is going to be, like the main stockpile. It's always in the center. The workshops I always do around the sides. And you'll see how I do my workshops. I usually get kind of creative with them. Uh, that's why I'm kind of setting all this up the way I'm setting it up now. Just kind of lazily throwing it wherever I can fit it because it's going to get a little bit uh, better here. And let's see. There's a way to check. I can't remember the key. There's a way to check whether or not they can get to your trade depot. But I have no idea what it is. I can't remember the key. Well, regardless, I think they can get there. I don't see anything um, that's blocking them except for maybe this. And uh, I'll get rid of those ramps too. In fact, we'll get rid of all those all the way over to here and all the way down to here. I just realized I can get wood too. Cause I forgot I could take apart the wagon. Where's the wagon? It started uh, someplace else here. Different than uh, last time. I have, I have no idea where. There's a hot key to get to it, but I don't. I don't remember the key. But once we find the wagon, it can be disassembled and you actually will get some food from it. It's right here. So we'll set that slated for removal. So that actually get us some wood. If we need it for anything. Perfect. So this area is done. Why don't we go ahead and put some tables in here? Actually, let's uh, put them in a little bit more. Well, I guess it don't matter. 
But let's do it like this. That's all I got. Okay. So we're still waiting for some more chairs to be made. Yep. Three more. I actually like the rock salt. That looks good. Eventually, I'll have to turn the sand into something else. This can all be... Let's see. This is all clay. What do we got down here? Is this dirt too? Loamy sand wall. Wow, we got a lot of sand and clay. It's gonna be kind of a pain for us to do uh, to operate. Kitchen's up and running. Butcher shop is up. The still is up. Yeah, I probably want to make sure we're still gathering plants. We want to pretty much gather as much as we can. It keeps that dwarf busy anyways. We could have a dwarf farming. Or, uh, I mean, uh, fishing. Oh, who could be a fishing dwarf? Who's not really super busy? Most people aren't busy. Who's not gonna be busy for a long time? Brewing, cooking, butchery. I need a fisher and fish cleaner, or doctor. will be our humble fisher. I believe we gotta set up a zone for that. I haven't fished right out of the uh, pond here. And then we'll set up uh, another area for drinking. Well, as I've got it. This would be our water source. I need a garbage dump too, but that'll be down in the workshop area. There you go, get to, get to work on our uh, little stockpile spot. Do we have our thrones? Yep, we do. All right, nice. So that actually gets us our our meeting area. All right, perfect. Where's the cart? Did we get that? Yep, we got that deconstructed. And they're carrying the rest of the stuff down and everybody actually went down to the... Well, everybody's actually busy. Hauling, it looks like. That's not a bad thing. All right, now for the stockpile here, we're gonna do a food stockpile here. And I think actually over here, we won't worry about, we'll just do what we'll do here. Instead of having ingredients as we'll do food, all the food will be here, which means no drink. So, oh, no, enable.
We'll get rid of all the drink, fruit leaves, blah, blah, blah. All this is fine. I want to make sure seeds are not set to here. Okay. And then down here will be only drink. Ooh. That's uh, it. All right, so these stockpiles here, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and go to food now and just disable it all. Same with this one. And what's nice about this is not only will it get the food all hauled off to the new stockpiles, it'll also get the seeds dealt with because you can see our seed stockpiles still don't have anything. Our farm plots are almost up and running though. So that's good. All right, and I think we're gonna leave it off here since we are once again out of time. Not bad though, it's starting to look a little more like a colony and a little less like uh, just a hill. Things are kinda coming together some. Hopefully we'll have some food production up here soon and some drink production, which I think is gonna be pretty important. Have a little bit, uh, a little bit of a crafting area going and then we're gonna focus really hard on the birthing area. So our dwarves have a place to sleep because they get pretty cranky if they don't. So that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.